everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same-day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits. Crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind... Um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is, all of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. So this is going to be, I'm gonna do each individual sign. So if you guys want a timestamp, you can. Um, so keep in mind that these are generals. These are not personal readings. So this may or may not resonate. All right, so check out your sun, your moon, or your rising. So I'm gonna do these in two different videos. So this first video, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna do Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. <clears throat> okay, so that's for this video. And then I'm going to do a part two, and it's going to be the other six zodiac signs. If you guys possibly can, please timestamp. So this is going to be about love and romance, okay? This is going to be about exes or, or new people coming in. It's going to be a little bit of both. So whatever comes out for your zodiac sign is what it's going to be. And this is going to be for, um, for February 19th, 2020, going until March 1st, 2020. All right, so for Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising... Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. What about Pisces for the next few days? What can they expect from February 19th, 2020 to March 1st, 2020 in Love and Romance? Okay, first card out is you got the Nine of Cups. It looks like love life is going to be happy. It looks like some of you may be single and happy. Some of you may have a Leo involved. You guys are going to be very happy with a Leo. Yep, Pisces and Leo or Pisces on Pisces energy is here. Okay, let me see what else. Okay, you got the Queen of Wands. So for some of you, yeah, it's a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. I do feel like um, this fire sign is from the past. This person wants your attention. So you do have a past person coming. Some of you have a new Pisces that's coming, or this could be a Pisces that's currently in your life. Certainly a Leo from that's in and out, past and future is coming. Also, you guys have choices to make. You guys are manifesting exactly what you want. So if you have partners that are starting to treat you much better, it's because you're manifesting it. And I also feel like for some of you, your chakras are very clean, very, very, uh, very positive because you guys are very happy. You guys are manifesting. You guys are putting your life into perspective when it comes to love and romance. So you do have new love, new romance, and you also have old love and romance. And you got to make those choices. All right, now let me put everything back and I'm going to do Aries. What can Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers expect for... February 19th, 2020 to March 1st, 2020. Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. What can they expect in love? Any exes coming back? Any new love happening? What can they expect right now moving forward? Okay, you got the Three of Swords. So some of you, there's going to be a third party discovered. Some of you have heartbreak happening for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. What else do they have happening? Okay, you do have the Four of pentacle so you don't know why somebody's keeping you around if they're cheating on you you don't know why if somebody can't make up their mind and choose you you don't know why they're they they still why they're still around why they're still bothering you somebody won't let you go or you won't let somebody go yeah an ex wants to come back this could be a capricorn a taurus or a virgo a sagittarius a uh, gemini libra or an aquarius page of swords also there's an ex that's stalking you spying on you or this could be you doing this um, to somebody, somebody doesn't, if you want to juggle, somebody doesn't know why you won't, you keep bothering them. You keep stalking them. Somebody keeps being followed. They want to be left alone. 
Either you want to be left alone or they want to be left alone. You guys have seen enough. Yeah, there could be a um, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, man or a woman. Um, this per there, Some of you are dealing with police officers or law enforcement. That's stalking. Yeah, you guys are going to be getting a call from a um, from a, um, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Big emphasis on Gemini, though. Let me see. What else? What else for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers? The Magician, you're manifesting. You're manifesting something. What are you manifesting? You're manifesting true love with the King of Cups. Some of you want to be with the King of Cups. Some of you want to be, it could be a king or a queen. Some of you want to be with a water sign. You're manifesting them back into your life. You, you want, um, you want a happy life with a water sign, some of you. You're manifesting this person into your life. You want a peaceful life. You want a good life. You want, you want, um, some of you feel like you can't get that though. You guys don't give up. You can get that. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. You can have a good life. You will have a good life. So yeah, some of you are coming out of heartbreak. Now let me put these back and let's do Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. What can they expect in love and romance for February, February 19th, 2020, going to March 1st, 2020. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. What can they expect? What can they expect? What can they expect in love and romance? Whether it's exes or new people coming back, what can they expect? You got a new beginning, either a brand new situation or a new beginning with someone. A fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries wants a new beginning with you, or you want a new beginning with them. Let me see a fire sign. You do have the um, the four of coins in the reverse, so I feel like somebody's letting go. Either some of you are releasing a negative situation, you're releasing heartbreak. Yeah, um, yeah. Some of you, maybe somebody was mad at you. Maybe somebody was. Uh, yeah, maybe somebody was cheating. And, uh, and now somebody's willing to talk to you again or they're willing to get back together with you again. They're willing to forgive you or you're willing to forgive them. There was a cheating situation going on with the Eight of Wands here. I feel like somebody quickly wants to get back together with you or this could be somebody getting back together with their, with their side dude or their side uh, woman. Somebody stopped talking for a little while. Yeah, we have the King of Cups. Uh, could be uh, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, man or a woman. All right. Three of Cups, two cards together. Okay, we got the we got the Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups. Yeah, so for some of you, it's a water sign man or a water sign woman. Some of you want to have a reunion, and it looks like it's a go because everybody's upright. So for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, there's a reunion coming. I feel like for some of you, if you were on the outs with your husband, wife, or significant other for cheating, they're going to take you back, and then as soon as they take you back, you're going to start, um, start off with this next person again. Yeah, uh, this is a karmic soulmate. The lover's card. Yeah, some of you are in a karmic soulmate situation with your side dude or your side girl. Yeah, some of you, yeah. Yeah, some of you want to, you're going to be leading a double life here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Also, some of you do have a water sign from the past that's coming back. Some of you do have a Gemini from the past that's coming back. There will be communication coming in. A lot of communication coming with a lot of people. Okay. Yeah, Page of Swords, somebody spying, stalking. This could be you or this could be them. Maybe it's both of you doing the same thing. Yeah, some of you want to, yeah, some of you really want to get back together with your side dudes or your side chicks or your many side dudes or your many side chicks. Some of you uh, are just waiting to get out of the doghouse so you can be free again to do these things. All right, now let me, let's go to Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Okay. Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Love. In regards to love and romance, new people, exes, new people. What what can they expect for the for February nineteenth, twenty twenty, to March first, twenty twenty? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. What can they expect? What can they expect? What can they expect? Okay. Okay. It looks like some of you have an Aries that's coming in or a stable romance. Okay, a Pisces for some of you. Okay, for some of you, it's a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, man or woman. I feel like these are new people. You guys have a lot of options in love coming up. The Hierophant, you guys also have options to get married or a Taurus is coming back. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Okay, you've got the two of coins, so there's gonna be messages back and forth between you and somebody. Could be um, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, fellow water sign. Okay. 
Yep, so, so some of you are going to be back on with somebody. Yeah, Hermit. Okay, you do have somebody in the background. Could be this guy. Could be that Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. They want to work it out with you. They want to work it out with you, but they but they they won't give up their other people. They won't give up their other options. They can't they can't they can they're going to verbally tell you that they're going to commit to you, but they won't. They're going to still do whatever it is that they've been doing. Um but you'll hear from them. Also, you got the five of wands, so you're going to struggle with them. So please don't put your heart in it because you know who this person is. Um, I don't know why you guys believe this person when, when they keep doing the same thing. Like, why, why would you continue to believe them when every time they tell you something, they, they go back and do the opposite? Stop. We got the justice card in the reverse. This isn't, like, stop. Don't. Like, you guys have very, you guys have new, perfect, positive options coming up where you guys can have a real relationship, where it can be stable and happy and healthy. But for some reason, you guys are choosing to go back to um, to the person that keeps lying to you and keeps breaking your heart. This person is also causing you health issues. So just stay away from this person. Now. Okay, let's see. Now let's go to Leo. And then I'm going to work on the next video. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers for February 19th, 2020 to March 1st, 2020. What can Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers expect in regards to love and romance? In regards to love and romance. What can be expected for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers in regards to love and romance? Okay. The lover's car. True love. Real love. Okay. This could be with a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, a fellow, a fellow fire sign, or this is you finding true love. Okay. Let's see soulmate you guys have been waiting and waiting yeah you also have the death card here so it could be with a scorpio your soulmate is a scorpio let me see yeah some of you um this is the one some of you may be may already be with this person but you didn't realize that they were the one you didn't realize it you're gonna have an epiphany yeah there's epiphanies coming that somebody's your soulmate. So maybe you were dealing with a Scorpio in the past or you're currently dealing with a Scorpio or a Scorpio headed your way. Um, or an Aquarius. This could be with an Aquarius or a Gemini. Let's see. Okay, this person's caused you a lot of trouble, a lot of stress. Whoever this is. This is, okay, so you guys, for, from, the, from February 19th, 2020 to March 1st, 2020, you're going to be realizing that a person you've already been with or a person that you're currently with is the one. Um, there may be a break taken or somebody, somebody took a break for a while or somebody wasn't, um, they wasn't, they weren't sure if they wanted to continue on or whether or not they could make this work. They're, they're coming right back. You guys are back together. So if you guys were kind of like not really together together, you will be, you guys are going to be back on full on back on full on. Yeah. We got the moon card here. So Scorpio, <clears throat> so two Scorpio cards here. Your soulmate is a Scorpio. All right, my Leos, have an amazing um, few days. JamieZebra23.com. I'm going to work on the next set. Um, please timestamp, like, share, subscribe, and whoa, comment. Whoa. Um, a card just flew. So for Leo, you got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So this is bad news or um, news of something kind of negative that's coming up within love and romance. All right, JamieZebra23.com. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now.